Today we'll be talking about environment because environment plays a huge role in our success. So we'll have a look at some case studies of some examples of when people partake in addictive behavior and how the environment has impacted that. So I'll ask you to review different areas of your life and have a look to see whether there's something that you can change or perhaps manage more effectively so that you're not inclined to go back to behaviors that are unhealthy for you. I'll also get you to have a look at your support network and see if there's some areas in which you can improve that. Because support is one of the things that's really gonna make a difference as to whether you keep on track with your healthy behavior. So some case studies around addictive behavior. You might have heard that in the Vietnam War, 40% of American soldiers were addicted to heroin. Now they did tests when they returned back on American soil and almost overnight, 95% of those that had been addicted were no longer addicted. Now why was that? You know, we hear that these types of drugs are so addictive that people will practically steal from people in order to get the money that they need for a fix. Well, the thing is that they were going out of a really uncomfortable, painful situation, obviously being in war, going back to their families. So they had a huge reason to stay clean. Their environment was completely different. So they were going from a painful situation to a pleasurable. So this shows us that if we remain or take our brain to a pleasurable place about what the change is, that we can stay off those addictive behaviors. Another example of addictive behavior is a widely publicized study called Rat Park, where they fed rats cocaine in their water. And what they discovered was that when rats were in a very social environment and a stimulating environment, that they weren't interested in the water that was laced with cocaine. They only took the pure water. But when they placed rats in an environment where they were on their own or it wasn't a stimulating environment for them, they did go for the water that was laced in cocaine and they continued to use it. So what this study showed us is that when we have a social network and we are in a pleasurable environment that's stimulating for us, we're not interested in addictive behaviors. But when we're in a situation that's stressful, perhaps we don't have a good support network or we're not in a pleasurable place, we're in quite a painful place, then we're more likely to partake in addictive behaviors. So you might know this for yourself, that you perhaps are more likely to smoke or drink or go for other things such as just sitting in front of the television for hours on end to avoid an uncomfortable situation. So it's really the opportunity to have a look at your life now. Are you in a place that is stimulating, that's enjoyable? What areas of your life might you need to change? Is there ways to improve relationships? Or perhaps your job is just not, no longer the right job for you. It might have been five years ago, but perhaps now you've outgrown it. What about your love life? Do you have the type of relationship that you really want? So knowing that all of that stuff in your life plays a part in how you feel and whether you partake in addictive behaviors, I just ask you to spend a bit of time looking at your life and analyzing whether you are really happy in all areas right now and whether there's some changes that you might need to consider. Maybe not now, but perhaps a little bit down the future. Support. And the right support is crucial for your success. So please have a look and see who you can call on for help whilst you're going through this transition phase 
of making the change. Your brain needs clarity and certainty and that's why I continue to ask you to write this stuff down. Make a plan of who the people are that you can call on, who the people you can go to when you partake in addictive behaviours, unhealthy patterns that cause you to get stuck and continue these cycle of unhealthiness. Emotionally eat or partake in large amounts of alcohol or sit in front of the TV for hours or whatever the addictive behavior is, the unhealthy behavior that you go to when you're in a time of uncomfortableness, when you're having stress or boredom or anger or frustration or whatever goes on for you where you have particular behaviors that are unhealthy for you. And also write a list of the services that you might need on top of that. Because sometimes friends and family just aren't the right person to go to. And you might need to start looking at perhaps getting a coach or a counselor to help you move out of these patterns. So please write them down and let us know what's been your greatest learning today. What have you built awareness of that you now got more clarity in in your life? I look forward to hearing your comments. Have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.